Here we are going to learn binary division using three different complexity of divisions. And believe me, the third one is really, really unique one. So without wasting time, let's get started. Here we are going to divide these two numbers and going to learn the binary division. This number is known as our dividend and this number is known as our divisor. Now let's start the division. So when you start, the first thing that you should keep in your mind is in binary addition, subtraction and multiplication, you always start the arithmetic operation with the least significant beat, this one. Whereas in binary division, we always start the division with the most significant bit, this one. So this is the first thing that you should keep in mind when you begin with binary division. So first of all, let's take the most significant bit, this digit and observe that is this digit is greater than this divisor. Here this one is actually less than this divisor. So you cannot divide this one by this one zero one. So what we'll do? So we'll multiply this one zero one by zero. So anything multiplied by zero gives us zero. So we'll write this zero over here and then we'll subtract this zero from this one. So we'll get one over here. So we get one in subtraction and now we'll bring the next digit down over here. So we'll bring this one over here. So final digit becomes one one. Now let's check is this one one is greater than this one zero one? No, still it is smaller. So we cannot divide this one one by one zero one. So again we'll multiply this one zero one by zero and write zero zero over here. We'll subtract this zero zero from one one and we'll get one one. Now we'll bring the next digit down over here and finally the number becomes one one zero. And now let's check is this one one zero is greater than this one zero one or is greater than the divisor? Yes, this number is greater than the divisor. Now we can divide this number by divisor. In binary, we have only two digits. Either we can multiply this divisor by zero or we can multiply this divisor by one. So when it is possible to multiply divisor by one, then write one over here and then write your divisor over here, one zero one. So one zero one, one za, one zero one. Now let's subtract this number from this. We cannot subtract one from zero. So what we'll do, we'll ask for a borrow from here. So we'll take one as a borrow to here. So here it becomes one zero. One zero minus one gives us one over here. When we have taken a borrow of one from here, this place becomes zero. So zero minus zero gives us zero and one minus one gives us zero. So now the number we have is zero zero one. After this subtraction, we'll bring this one down here. So it becomes one one. Now let's check, is this one one is greater than the divisor? No, it is not greater than. So we cannot divide it by one zero one. When you bring one digit down and still this number is less than the divisor, then again you bring one more digit down at the same level and check is this number is greater than the divisor or not. Here we bring one additional digit down. So we will place a zero over here. So remember whenever you bring additional digit down at the same level, then you are supposed to add one zero over here. Let's say if you bring three additional digit down by process, you are supposed to bring one digit down. But if this digit is not greater than divisor, then you are supposed to bring one more digit down, additional digit down. If this number is also not greater than divisor, then you need to bring one more digit down. So likewise, you have added three additional digit down. So when you are bringing three additional digit down, then you are supposed to place three zero over here. So remember, whatever amount of additional digit you are bringing down, that much amount of zero you are supposed to place over here. So we have bring one additional number here. So we'll place one zero over here. And now we'll move forward. So here this one 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 is greater than this one zero one. So we'll multiply this number by one. One zero one one za one zero one. And we'll subtract this number now. So one minus one zero zero minus one 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 minus one zero. So here we get this 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 as our quotient and this 0, 1, 0 as our remainder. And here we can ignore these two zeros and just write this 1, 0, 1. 
because by removing these two zeros we are not making any changes in its magnitude. So finally this 101 is our quotient and this 10 is our remainder. But what if we don't want anything in remainder? We want to take this division further and we want nothing in remainder. So now let's see next example and we will see how we can do further division. So these are the two numbers which we are going to divide. Now I'll start the division with the most significant bit but instead of taking one number we'll start taking with three numbers and ignore this additional steps of division because in this additional steps we are just going to add two zeros in beginning and later in the sum we are going to ignore so we'll directly ignore these two zeros and we'll take three digit. So is this 101 is greater than this 100? Yes, it is greater than. So multiply this number by 1. So 1001 is 100. Let's subtract this number. 0 minus 1, 1. 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Now bring this one down over here. So it is 1, 1. Now let's check. Is this 1, 1 is greater than this 100? No, it is not greater than. So we cannot divide this number. We bring one more zero down and check this 110 is greater than this 100. Yes, it is greater than. So now because we have taken down one additional digit, we'll place a zero over here and then we'll divide this number. So now 100, 10, and let's subtract these two numbers. 0 minus 0 gives us 0, 0 minus 1, 1 and 1 minus 1, 0. Now let's bring this one down so it becomes 101. Check is this 101 is greater than this 100? Yes, it is greater than so we can divide it. So 100 are 100. Again subtract this number 0 minus 1 gives us 1. 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. Bring this 0 down. Now let's check is this 10 is greater than this 100? No, it is not greater than. So generally we stop here and do not proceed further division and we'll consider this as our quotient and this as our remainder but now we do not want to stop here and we want to go further in division so what we'll do this is our whole number part what we'll do we'll take a binary point over here and add a zero here so basically when we add zeros after a binary point we are not making any changes into the magnitude of this entire number. You can see here. So now we have this decimal point and then we have one more zero over here. So what we'll do, we'll bring this zero down over here. So now we have the number 100. Is this 100 greater than this 100? Yes, they both are equal. So we can divide this number. But we have bring additional zero over here. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to place a 0 over here and now we can divide this number by this number. So this 100 are 100 but before you place 1 over here there is a decimal point. So you are supposed to place a decimal point over here and then you are supposed to place 1 over here. So now this 100 are 100 and you can divide this number. So 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0 and 1 minus 1. It becomes 0, 0, 0. So now the remainder is 0. And our quotient becomes 10110.1. So this is another way how you can do binary division in which you can actually have a fractional quotient in your answer. And remember, both the answer is correct. Answer with the fraction quotient or answer with the quotient and remainder. They both means the same thing. Now we'll see one more level of complexity in binary division. Here we are going to divide these two numbers and this division will be even more complex division than the previous one. Or you'll get something new, something different in this division. So now we'll start with the most significant bit. Is this number is greater than this one one? No, it is not greater than. So we'll multiply this one one by zero. So we'll get 0 over here, 0 minus 1, 1. We'll bring this one down, right? So we have 1, 1. And you can check, is this number is equal to or greater than this number? Yes, it is equal. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then you can subtract these two number and we'll get 0, 0. One more thing I would like to tell. Initially, I have did this process, right? We have started with one digit. 
because this number is less than this number we had to put a zero over here right so you can remember this for your further division at first step if you want to consider two digits in place of one digit you can do it and you can directly start dividing considering two numbers we was to consider two digit anyhow we have to put a zero over here and if we ignore this initial zero this initial zero is not going to make any difference in the magnitude of our quotient so for first step instead of one digit you can consider multiple digit so now we'll bring this zero down over here so it is zero and check is this number is greater than this one one no it is not greater than so now we'll bring this additional digit over here now let's see is this number is greater than this number no it is not greater than so what we'll do because we have added one additional digit we'll place one zero over here and now we'll bring one more digit down now let's see is this number is greater than this one one no it is still not greater than this one one so it will do we'll place one more zero over here and then we'll look for the next zeros but now the number is over so what we'll do we'll write this number like this one one zero one zero point zero and when we add zero after this binary point we are actually not making any change into the magnitude of this number so now we can bring this zero down over here now let's check is this number is greater than this one one so yes now this number is greater than the one one but because we have added additional digit over here we are supposed to add a zero over here and now we are supposed to divide one 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 za one one over here we will place this one one over here and then subtract but remember that when you place this one just before that number there has to be a binary point because over here also we have a binary point so now let's do the subtraction one cannot be subtracted from zero so we'll ask borrow to here and this digit will ask borrow to here so it becomes one zero over here and when it gives one over here it becomes one zero so one zero minus one gives us one over here previously it was one zero when you gave one to the previous column this one zero will become one and one minus one gives us zero and this number had already given borrow to the previous column so it has become zero so zero over here so now it is one is this one is greater than this one one no it is not greater than so we'll assume one more zero over here we bring this zero down like this now let's check is this one zero is greater than this one one no it is not greater than we'll bring another zero down when we bring one more zero down over here we'll place a zero over here is this is greater than this one one yes it is greater than so one 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 za one one and we'll still get this zero zero one in subtraction. So now you observe over here we have this zero zero one. In previous step also we have got this zero zero one. So now what will happen? This digit will keep on following. So just observe over here this one zero will keep on following after the point one zero one zero one zero one zero, and this division will never reach to zero remainder. So now the question is up to which number we supposed to proceed this division. So here is your answer up to which number or up to which digit of accuracy you want in your division up to that number you should proceed and if this number is keep on repeating then after first repetition you can stop. So here we can see this number will keep on repeating like one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero. So after first one zero we can stop or after second one zero one zero we can stop. So this digit is our quotient and the one will be our remainder. Like this division the fractional binary number is very tricky to learn and for that you are supposed to jump to this video. Here these are two examples that you are supposed to solve and write the answer in comments to check you have got the concept correct or not. And now let's jump to the next video of fractional binary division.